Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Seca Funk. And by the way, I guess I never really explained uh, Seca Funk, where that came from. Um, I've had my LPs for a while, especially in college. They used to call me the number one Funketeer, but that was corny. And so somewhere along the line, the name Seca Funk, which is short for the Secretary of Funk. So that's what they call me, the Secretary of Funk. And that's what Seca Funk stands for. Uh, I, I've been using that for everything, eBay, Amber, uh, just anything, anything that, that deserves a novelty nickname, but I have to put one down or whatever, that's what I put, I'm Secretary of Funk, so proclaim. <laughs> but anyway, good news, I was uh, the kid called me back yesterday, I went to his house, I was able to go through a uh, little, little over half of his father's collection. It was bittersweet, to say the least, but I'm very, very, very pleased with the, uh, the stuff that I got. Um, it was bittersweet because, you know, there was blue notes there, there was riversides there, um, and they were just way too scratched for me to get. But, you know, the covers were in immaculate shape, so if I ever run across uh, the album that's good, and I, you know, I know who to call, you know, the guy pretty much gave me an open door policy to this collection. He said, you don't even have to call, just stop by, I'm here. Um, this is the kid's father, so, you know, it was really nice. I'm going back on Saturday to go through the rest of the collection. Um, I don't think that the collection is going to be put out this Sunday at the flea market here at Eastern Market in D.C. because just in time, after the earthquake, there's a hurricane coming. I mean, and you know what? I'm more concerned about this one because my album room is a, is a temporary album room in the back of my house, and it's 50% uh, windows, huge windows. So I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and get some boards and protect that music. But anyway, let me get started. Let me hurry up because I have a lot to share. I have funk and soul 45s, rockabilly 45s. I have um, I have uh, uh, jazz and everything. So first one, like I said in that last video, you guys can see what kind of jazz guy this is. Man, he had he had two albums. Uh, Charlie Parker albums on on um, Savoy Records, and you know I I, so I just I, I was gonna get them because the albums were just so nice. I mean the cover, but the album looked like a, a cat owned it and let a chicken borrow. It. That's how scratched up it was. But this one was good condition. That's on the black label. Uh, Riverside label. It's not a mono, but I'm happy to have it. You know, I don't have that in my collection. This next album is crazy. You know, I have a friend here in DC. He's a DJ and he also runs DCSoulRecordings.com. He's a 45 guy. I'm not so much a funk and soul or 45 guy, period. So I'm able to trade him very valuable 45s that I have or that I run across for very valuable albums that he actually doesn't really care about. And I, just less than a month ago, I traded him. This album. And I just found it again. This is uh, Marcus Belgrave, Gemini, and let me see. Tell you guys, if you if you're a deep jazz person, then this is on the tribe label, and tribe is like a more refined Strata East. It's not as free. It's not as free as Strata East. It's 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 more. Uh, uh, um, it's political. It's it's. Definitely like an individual effort that comes out um, through the music. It's it's more refined, like I said, but you know it reminds me of the Strata East label, the Black Jazz label. It had a theme that 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 definitely was apart from whatever was going on in jazz at the time. If it was hard bop or whatever, um, they had their own sound. And this is a very very rare label to find. This is a legendary horn player out of Detroit. Uh, you might as well call this a private press. But I mean, happy to have that. Next one, replacing a crappy copy, Soul Zodiac. Like I said last time, Cannabar Adderley uh, is an alumni of the same college that I went to, Florida a and um, Him and his brother, Nat Adderley. And a matter of fact, when Nat Adderley's uh, one of his LPs on uh, Emerson Records, he's holding the horn like this, or like this. He has a red shirt on. 
He actually has a song dedicated to Florida and It's called Rattler something. Rattler March or How He Marches Rattlers or something. Florida and Go so, so Rattlers. Next one. Eddie Lockjaw. Prestige. That's Deep Groove as well. And it's interesting that this doesn't have any. This doesn't have the script. This doesn't have the vortex or the arrow. There's no logo on the front of this. No prestige logo. I found very interesting. Um, Gerald Wilson. I have about six LPs from this guy. I haven't gotten into any of them. It's the gift and the curse of all when it comes to finding the records in abundance is that sometimes things get ignored. I've done needle drops on them and it didn't really catch me. So I, I have six of this guy's albums and I just, damn, I just, I just created that. Just created that, but that's okay. Classic sleeve is going to go in the background. Put this one over here. Take care of that later. Um, down home, Sam Jones. White Riverside. I just created this. What is wrong with me? I just did a top scene split on it. Did you guys see that? <laughs> anyway, everybody's favorite. Sunny Stitt. And I think this is like either a second pressing because a reissue, because the label is not a deep groove. Um, I don't know, it's definitely old. I mean, it's antique. The white is brown, but I, I, I just don't know about that. Another prestige. Uh, Eddie Lockjaw, cookbook. With, the, I believe, it's his wife, Shirley Scott. This is on the silver and black Jubilee label. Prestige, another one in the collection. Oh man, my, my second LP by this young lady, Alice Coltrane. And look at that cover. That's Peter Max on the cover. Peter Max, for 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 those who are not familiar with him, um, Peter Max is is uh, how can I how can I describe? I mean, he's a he's a dope artist, but you know, people who don't want to drink the Kool Aid and and, and uh, follow behind. Uh, Jesus Christ, how did I just lose, lose I, I can't remember the guy's name. Warhol. People who don't want to uh, follow behind Warhol, this is, the, this is their savior, Peter Max. Look at that cover. I mean, his, his artwork is really cool. But, uh, and that's John Cole's, Coltrane's wife, as we know. Flying Lotus's aunt, or great aunt, Flying Lotus's, Hey, uh, Flying Lotus has a new new Cosmogramma um, record out, so go check that out. This is my man, Charlie Mingus, Wonderland. Uh, you know, they say that uh, James Brown was actually the Charles Mingus of funk and soul, meaning that, you know, he abused his band uh, members. I mean, if you weren't on par, on key, he was smashing your instrument, he was fining you, he even punched one of his guys in the mouth and um, pretty much ruined his career. Uh, Charles Mingus, oh and by the way, check in my in my favorites video, in my favorites, there's a Charles Mingus documentary, if you haven't seen it already, it's classic, It's uh, he's getting evicted out of his apartment, it's footage, he's shooting guns into the wall. Uh, talking about you know him as a black man and how people are it's a conspiracy to get him out of there it's great you should check that out for all of you cult followers on this label grab this up double LP ECM Keith Jarrett so that was good moving on to the soul Yo Scott Heron Flying Dutchman this I'm guessing from the title is his first LP on this. This is a gatefold, and as you can see, Brian Jackson has not joined him yet, so I definitely think this is one of his newer, uh, or one of his first uh, LPs. This is on the Flying Dutchman label, like I said, and it's not a promo. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, really happy to have that. I love, love stuff on that label. They, they, they seem to, this is replacing a crappy copy. James Brown, Shaft in Africa, Johnny Pate. This has the, the, the dope sample from Jay Z. Show me what you got, pretty lady. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Hey, hey, that's the sample. 
da, 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 da. Check it out. Disco Funk, Mastermind. I don't have this one. I'm gonna check it out. You know, I'm a little shaky when it comes to disco. Especially Disco Funk, but you know, these guys look like they know what they're doing, so I'm gonna check it out. I've definitely seen this for sale before. Um, always, the price always made me wonder what was between the cover musically, so I'm gonna check it out. Um, some 45s that I got. Oh, one more thing. I got this, this, this WDAS FM Black Rock. I mean, I looked at the title tracks and I snatched it up because it has Hymn to Mother Earth by Demon Fuzz on it. Check it out. Demon Fuzz off the chain. Other um other uh groups on here is uh Rotary Connection, Peace at Last, which we all know many Ripperton starting in that. You got uh Choice of Colors by Curtis Mayfield. You even have Why Not Start All Over Again by the Counts. And if you don't have if you if you do if you want to get into funk, I suggest that you start with the Counts album. What is what's up front that counts, I think this name is a predominantly yellow cover. That's a good introduction because the, the LP is only gonna cost you like twenty bucks, but it should be worth at least hundred and fifty from the music that's on it. I don't know why it's not worth it. It's on Westbound label, so check that out. Um some of the forty fives that I got. Uh let's see that one for last because that's a monster. Let me organize them really quick. Okay. Who doesn't need any Eddie Bow in their collection? Hook and Slang. YouTube that. Monster, monster drumming. You won't be able to keep up. If, you, if you're faint of heart, you have Pacemaker. Don't do it. Don't blame me. Um, Soul 45, The Fabulous Emotions, uh, Number One Fool. And then also, Funky Chicken is on the other side. Um, pretty cool. I, I listen to it. It's okay. Um, I've never seen this in before. This is on uh, uh, 45 uh, Grand Junction. The name of this group is called Gaslight. And it's actually not funky at all. It's really soulful. So, Soul 45 there. Mary Holmes. Another Northern Soul type 45. Um, never seen a label before, so I went after it because it was an obscure label. Um, got some Rockabilly. King. Uh, love that. This is, this is Charlie Fowler. Um, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I don't know much about the genre, but from what I understand, from what I've read, I mean, I knew about this guy way before I even picked up a 45 of his. And I, and I know that the 45s are very valuable. So I might sell this one and buy like a VPI or something because I definitely need one. Um, I have a little, little crappy uh, final bit right now, but you know, maybe I, I, I'll have the, the hobby support itself and I'll sell this. Because uh, I think the non promo copy goes for about 700 bucks, 800 bucks. So this is the promo copy, the same song. So we'll see. Um, some more rockabilly, Vince Edwards. I, I mean, this is actually good. I like, I like the rockabilly. I, I, you know, I like this stuff. I mean, they, 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 they relied on that bass to keep uh, that stand-up bass to keep, keep everything together. Look, uh, this is what I was really excited about. Bam! Power of Attorney. Now I know for a fact that this video is not on YouTube. I don't know if you'll be able to find it on a blog, maybe, but I'm going to put a video up of this so you guys can hear this. Um, I'm going to try to do it tonight. This is on the Brotherhood uh, Records. Power of Attorney was a prison funk group, soul funk group. I have their, L, their, their LP, which is why I snatched this 45. This... said anyway guys that's all I got um, I'm gonna make another video of some rare uh, um, hip-hop uh, uh, things that I have in my collection that are, I've had for a while you know I collect old-school hip-hop so I'm just gonna it's just gonna be a, a, a video of what I should you know stuff out of my collection that I'm gonna share all right guys thanks for looking and thanks to everybody for subscribing and showing me the love 
I mean, that's encouraging, and, and I'll do this until I'm blue in the face now because I see that you guys are up on it and you like what I'm sharing. So thank you. Thank you, Derek. Uh, thank you. Oh, man, this one guy was all over my stuff. Funk, uh, man, forgive me. I'm going to say your name in my next video because um, the comments that you're leaving lets me know that, that you have a really good taste in jazz, and I really appreciate you uh, looking at my videos. All right? See you later.